Now let us take another question on Mandis. Seven men can construct a road of ten kilometers in six days. How long will fourteen men take to construct a road of twenty kilometers? Now, unlike the other question which was there, in this question there are three variables. One is number of men. Seven men can construct a road of 10 kilometers. Second is the road in kilometers in six days. And third is the number of days. So we are given that seven men can construct a road of 10 kilometers in six days. Okay. How long will 14 men take to construct a road of 20 kilometers? So, this is what we have to find out. Right? So, in this case, what you can do is you can move on pair to pair basis. So let us see the men and road first. Okay, and then we form a column here. So seven men can take ten days to construct. So seven men will construct a road of ten kilometers in six days. So if there were fourteen men, let's say there were fourteen men. Who had to construct 10 kilometers, how long will it take? So let's say 14 men, 10 kilometers, the road was same. So you normally ignore this variable. Okay, so 7 men will take 6 days, 14 men will take how many days? Obviously, the number of men is increasing, right? Well, let me put it like this. The number of men is on the increase, so number of days should ideally decrease, right? So this can be written as 7 upon 14 is equal to x upon 6. Solving this, x is equal to 7 into 6 upon 14. This goes into this two times. 3. 3 days. So if 14 men were to construct 10 kilometers, they would have taken 3 days. Right? Now you have 14 men, okay, can construct 10 kilometers in 3 days. Okay, again you have 14 men, so the number of men is common. So you take 3 days to construct 10 kilometers, so how long will you take to construct 20 kilometers? Let's take it as x. Again, if the, num if the amount of road, the distance of road which has to be constructed is increasing, the number of days should also increase. So both of them should be in the same proportion. So you take x upon 3 is equal to 20 because both of them in the same direction. So both these numbers should come proportionately. This goes, this goes. So there is 2 or x is equal to 6 days. So I did this in two steps. 
first is I kept one of the things common here which is the distance. Why? Because if there are two variables it's difficult to solve it. And then what I did is I computed the number of days. Once I've got this then my number of men becomes common. Once this is common then I have two variables which I can equate with each other to get the solution.